Hey family, Pastor Kandra here with All For Him Gathering Ministry and the Awe and Kandra All For Him. I'm excited just to touch base with you today on this Holy Monday. And what's the significance of Monday in this pivotal moment in Jesus's final week before the crucifixion and resurrection? Well, specifically, it's remembered for Jesus's cleansing of the temple, an act of authority and righteousness. And this event is recorded in all four gospels. You can see this in Matthew 21, 12 through 13. Mark 11, 15 through 18, Luke 19, 45 through 46, and John 2, 13 through 16. So here's why Holy Monday holds such significance. First of all, it was because of the cleansing of the temple. See, Jesus entered the temple in Jerusalem and he drove out the merchants and money changers. He was flipping tables and declaring, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers, which is in Matthew 21, 13. See, this act was not only a demonstration of Jesus's authority, but it also kind of called him out and condemned the corruption and the exploitation with religious practices that were happening. They were actually worshiping the idols that they were selling rather than worshiping God in this temple. And in when you look at the prophetic fulfillment of this, Jesus's actions in the temple were in line with Old Testament prophecies. In fact, in Malachi 31, 1, I'm sorry, Malachi 3, 1, it foretold the coming of the Lord who would purify the sons of Levi and cleanse the temple. By cleaning the temple and cleansing the temple, Jesus fulfilled this prophecy and reaffirmed his identity as the Messiah. That's amazing, you guys. Um, it reaffirmed true worship. So Jesus's actions really emphasized the importance of genuine worship and devotion to the Lord, to God. He reminded the people that the temple was meant to be a place of prayer and communion with God, not for marketplace or financial gain. So through this flipping of the table, through this cleansing, through this act of um, you know, coming in in this demonstrative, authoritative, powerful way, Jesus calls called at that time for a return to true worship and the reverence of God. Jesus's actions also on Holy Monday challenged the religious authorities of this time who had allowed, a, uh, you know, corruption to kind of infiltrate the temple. His boldness in confronting their pro practices really highlighted the need for just a fresh spiritual renewal and to reform within religious institutions. So overall, Holy Monday serves as a reminder of Jesus's authority, his commitment to righteousness, and his call to authentic worship. It prompts us as believers to really examine our own lives and practices and really make sure that we're aligning with God's will and his purpose. And Holy Monday, Monday really sets the stage of the events that will happen for the rest of the week leading up to the ultimate sacrifice and triumph over sin and death. So today, I just want to pray a blessing over you. And I want to charge you just to take a moment and really examine your heart. What idols have you put up in your life that need to come down? What does that mean? What have you put that you find more value in than you do God? God should always be your priority. But the Bible tells us, put first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to it. So our eyes need to be fixated on him. And this is a great reminder as we posture ourselves during this incredible week to, re to just be reminded that we worship one and true God and that God is our only, only God that we worship. And we put all false idols down before.